Hey, my mate. Um, okay. So, look, we're going to have to use this as a bit of a start of a process. Okay. There's a lot going on here in terms of uh, bunkers. Okay. Partly because um, of where you are technically. So, you've got to understand what you're trying to do technically and what you're trying to do differently out of the bunker. But also because at Trump, it's such a defense of the golf course and there's almost sort of different techniques and different thought patterns you need to have for the different shots. Okay. So let's talk a little bit. Um, we're talking mostly about the short game shots. Okay. So we've got the waist areas. There's also some bunkers and stuff. So it is a little bit different. Okay. So let's work. First of all, it's standard bunker shot technique. So we're talking about uh, an explosion shot. That's really what we call a, a greenside bunker shot. Um, and we're talking about close, you know, 15, 20, 25 meters, okay, in and around the green. Obviously, sometimes that means waste area next to the green and quite elevated, and sometimes that means greenside bunker, okay? Um, the difference with those two is really going to be the firmness of the sand, okay? So the bunkers, the sand is softer, okay? And then the waste area, the sand is a bit firmer, all right? But the technique we're going to use is the same, all right? So our normal standard bunker. Explosion technique. Actually, I'll get into that now, but basically your two main things Okay, let's say three main things um, But your two main technical things from the sand is you need an open face Okay, all right, and you need a lot of lag Okay, and the reason I'm saying that is obviously that's what partly what we're struggling with the golf swing, isn't it? So your face is a little bit closed and you tend to release the club a bit early So both of those things are going to explain why the bunker play is so poor. Okay, so this will help us in the, in the rest of the game as well. Okay, and then the third thing you do is with explosion, you've got to hit the sand. Make sure you hit the sand. Okay, that's where we can learn from that. Okay, so standard bunker, uh, greenside bunker, standard splash technique. We've got to open the face. Okay, just so you remember, or just so you know, just to make sure. Okay, we can't just open the face. We've got to release the grip, open the face, regrip, so that that face is open the whole way. Okay, so that's number one. Right. Number two, okay, we need a wider and a lower stance. Why is that? Because we're trying to hit the sand and we're trying to slide the club about an inch under the ball. Now, yeah, an inch, even in the waist area, about an inch under the ball. Okay, so open face, wide stance, low knees. Okay, because the face open, we might have to aim a touch to the left. That's okay. All right, so we might just have to go just a touch to the left just to match the face. But it's more about the open face, weaker grip, wider stance, lower knees. That's where we're at. Okay. That's where we're at. So this goes into double knee flex draw. So it should be fine for you. Okay. So from there, obviously you're trying to keep the face open. That's fine. But what we're trying to do, okay, is hold some lag, okay, and then release very aggressively through the sand. Okay. We're not trying to hit down into the sand. We're not trying to lift the golf ball up. Okay. We're trying to set up a release. Lots of lag, open face low knees and then we're trying to release the club through the sand so we're trying to slap the sand that's the idea okay and the more speed that we can create the better really all right so open face wide stance okay and then we're trying to have lots of lag coming in and then slap the sand don't dig don't lift okay so that's where we've got to start off right so that is for our Greenside bunkers and our greenside waist area. With the waist area, the ball's going to come out a little bit hotter because there's less resistance from the sand. Okay, in the um, normal bunkers, the ball's going to come out a little bit softer. Okay, so you just got to, we'll figure out and chat over the next few weeks about how to make subtle adjustments. For now, I just expect out of the, out of the bunkers, it's going to come out. So keep that speed up, keep hitting that sand, keep slapping that sand. Under the ball, though lifting, yeah, taking its legs out. Okay, I'm just repeating the same stuff. All right, and then understand with the waist area, okay, you're not going to get as much sand, so there's less resistance. The ball's going to come out a little bit hotter. But if you get it right, especially with the open face, low knees, you should be able to get quite a bit of height on it. Okay, right, then we go into our longer shot. So now we're like in the waist area, a bit elevated, but we've got like 40 meters to go. Okay, it's too far. All right. Now this technique is not going to hold up. The ball's not going to go far enough. Okay, you're going to max out at about thirty to thirty-five meters. All right. What you're going to do is the same technique for these longer bunker shots. 
Okay, just with a gap wedge. So still open it up. Okay, wide low stance. Still slap the sand. Lots of lag. Okay, we're just going to do it with a gap wedge. Okay, that should take care of our 40, 45, 50 meter explosion shot from the waist area. All right. Then once you get further, that's going to max out at about 45, 50 meters. Okay, then we don't have an option. Then we have to now try and play a normal wedge shot. Okay, so now we play a 60 meter shot as if we're playing it from the fairway. Okay, so now we're going to flip it over completely. Now we're going to be narrow stance, square club face, very nice and tall. And if anything, for those 60, 70 meter shots out of the waist area, okay, we want to try and take no sand. So we want to keep as level as possible, especially through the hit. Okay, and we want to kind of pick that ball off the sand, not lift it. Okay, still going through nice and shallow. Clean off the sand, so pick it off the bottom of the club. All right, now you'd be surprised when you hit the bottom of a wedge, not the leading edge, not like a proper thin, but if you hit it just low on the club, second or third groove, it takes a little bit of practice and confidence. When you first hit it, it doesn't actually feel amazing, but it actually behaves quite nicely and tends to have quite a lot of spin off. Okay, so we've got explosion shot 20 meters around the green. Long explosion shot, 40 meters. Okay. Longer shot or in, deeper in the waist area. And then we've got a 60 meter, which is our pick shot with a wedge. Okay. So, sand or lob wedge, 20 meters. Tweak the face open. Wide stance. Okay. Lots of lag. Okay. Nice little slap. That's our green side. Okay. Same technique, probably a bit more speed, but same technique. Okay, 40 meters, same technique. Tweak the face, wide stance, slap the sand. Probably going to be a more aggressive swing. Okay, but that's our 40 meter, right? So a bit more aggressive. Okay, that's our 40 meter. All right, 60 meter. Got to switch it over. Narrow stance. Keep your height, smooth little swings. Trying to pick it off the bottom grooves. Okay, I made no contact with the ground there. Okay. How far is it going? That's <laughs> luck. <it's> like <laughs> 57 meters. Okay. All right. So first thing is understand the different shots for the different lengths that you have. And then the explosion shot, the difference between the firm sand and the soft sand for now is just resistance. So it's the speed the ball comes out at. Softer sand hit it harder, harder sand hit it softer. <laughs> All right, so let's start there. Okay, understand why it's been difficult for you because of shut face, early release. So that's why it's difficult. Okay, but also make all the idea, setup, and club selection changes. Okay, I know that's a lot. Just kind of process a little bit. Give yourself a plan as to how you're going to go through each shot depending on when you have it. Okay, but it's a baseline for now. Right, we'll discuss it more, we'll practice it more in the upcoming day. Okay, thanks my mate. I'll review those videos for you uh, later this evening. Um, otherwise, you know what to do swing-wise. I sent you a video, okay, um, and I'll talk to you later. All right.